Today, just a quick day unboxing. I recently got a few new things, especially this one. This is Slim Lipsticks from this brand called Sit E. This package I waited for nearly two months. Yeah, two months. Because it was stuck in Shanghai due to the Omicron, all that malarkey that it couldn't send over until I received it yesterday. So, um, was going to do a full on, you know, try on lipstick, swatches, all that malarkey, but I really can't wait to open. Then, going to share with you guys. Besides, I also got a few uh, new things. This is from Dancing Up, uh, it is their eyeliner. A different color, I think, is help you to create a fake eye bags. I think, if I didn't remember it wrong, then I got one fake lashes. I'm not overall a big fan of fake lashes, but this one was on TikTok. When I see how they applied it, and the result was really good, so I think I will use this in another video with you guys. But today is mainly this two and one small accessory from. A B Y B charming. Um, let's open this one. I am a big fan of the accessories. It is quite um, how to say, very stylish. If you like their style, it's a very good one to have. They also have international uh, website which does global shipping, and this is like this. It's in the same. It's in the same collection as this necklace. They also have the pair of earrings just in this like butterfly shape. But this is a like a um, hook thing. Is that what's it called? Ear hook? So what you do is you do on top of the ear like that. But my ear is fairly slim. I rarely be able to find a good like ear hook. That would make it actually stay on my ear. So I rarely buy it, but I really like this color. Oh, this one seems jobs as well. <laughs> oh, well. Is it nice? I can't see the side of the ear. I don't think it is the ear hooks problem. I think it is my my ear shape is just not that friendly. I have so many of the necklace and earrings, and recently also um, they approach me, send me a couple of their new samples as well. Like this necklace was sent by them. I was going to actually buy it myself, but they sent it to me. Hey. Thank you, ABYB. But this one I bought it myself. Oh, it can stay here. My ear got red already. Yeah, mm -mm. yeah. The ear hook thing, I think, is still not my my my. It, it, it's yeah, still not my thing. It doesn't look as as pretty as how they you know present it. So yeah, probably not. I try to utilize it. Probably like a necklace charm thing. Anyway, that's the opening accessory we are opening today. So, hey. Okay, uh, let me do the lipstick first as I haven't got lipstick on. Uh, I would do all the swatches, but may not just do all on the lip. But if you guys want to see a full on try on present and the swatches leave your message down below i will do a separate one that's the box when you open it's quite cute so it's like two layers two lit one is like this very soft a very good quality of the paper and when you open the box that's what's inside um there are this is a set why I bought there are four lipsticks and this two I think is I think this two are just gifts this is 
洁颜油 I think this is makeup remove oil. This is juicy. This is in Juicy's brand. Look. I just realized that. Right? But this 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 box is not juicy. Did I randomly put something in? I've opening oh I've only opened it yesterday and just had a look inside. I didn't even take anything out, but could be me, but hey. The other one is Example of their perfume. Interesting. Does it any? Uh, is there any explanation? It is site S I T E white labor perfume. Uh, the name of this perfume is called White Leather. Ah, okay. When you first spray it, you can tell why it's called the leather. But when it starts spreading out, it reminds me of some old Chinese blush, Yanzhi. If you're Chinese, you know what I'm talking about. It has like, when I was in middle school, probably middle school, high school, when you buy Chinese blush, it has like a, a, a set smell. That's very much like that. It's not a bad smell. It just very much reminds me of that. It is not a set gender perfume. Hmm. It's okay. And got one bag left. You guys won't mind. What's this bag is called? Makeup bag. This is just a protection cover inside it. Ooh, it's like PU leather makeup bag. Oh, I like the design. Look, it just pretty much dump everything in and just click, drop down. And it can, you know, not bad. Fairly stylish in a way. Isn't it? No one does this anymore, I hope. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. This would become very handy for my desk over here. Everything can dump it in. The full color. By the way, before we start, <laughs> I just saw there are two like black plastic band no idea why it's just on one lipstick that's the start from this one then uh, let me do these swatches on hand first and let's pick one color to put on my lip the packaging is really nice it's I think it is a metal it's not a plastic feel it's like a metal feel and I don't know why there is a color difference. The, the three are more like light bean color. The Chinese name for this is cigarette lipstick. It has the feel in there, especially hold the black one. They're all called matte lipstick. I don't know whether there is a... a um, color difference and also look at the details it has logo on one side very sleek very slim it's slimmer than a finger <laughs> and inside oh this reminds me like a you know hourglass the slim one the head which just look like a very similar in there I see the black one, the same, and all the head has its logo as well. The packaging I give 100%, I think is very nice. And let's see the color. That's the four colors. This one is the black cover number 018. 
and this is the white bin color, uh, zero seven. Oh, there is name for that. The black one over here is eighteen, called a good job. And this color over here is called zero seven, social language. And this one is called zero nine, out of here. The last one on the top is zero one called interesting. From the swatches, the formulation is fully, fully matte. Uh, I think the four colors from swatches are quite nice. This is has more burgundy red in there. This one has more brown. This is more smoky, rosy color. And this is more towards nude. Which one goes well with today? Hmm. You know what? Shall we do this? Let's do one of the black one and one the lightest color. Let's do this. Let's do the lightest first, which is zero one. Interesting. Not bad. I have to say, when you apply it, it's fairly dry. It's very much like dry mud when you glide on the lip. It's not very silky or creamy when you glide on that, but the pigmentation is good. Although this is fairly nude color, but I cover my own lip color fairly well. And considering how matte and how dry actually is, when you get onto the lip, you don't actually feel that heavy. You don't feel something stick on there. I have to say it's fairly comfortable to actually wear. Uh, this is not sticky, but because it's dry enough, so it won't hide your lip lines. This will actually show how many lip lines you have. But the good thing is it doesn't sink into the lines. It's still fairly spread it out. And interesting, look, it just has like minimum transfers. So it would be a good long lasting. And this color is nice. This is a nice nude, but the more warmer tone nude. If you like nude lipstick, I think this is a nice color. It's similar like, a, you know, I think a color pop has a similar colors of this. And this brand and cheap, at least in comparison to other lipsticks, I couldn't remember exactly how much I paid. I will leave more details in my description box in terms of how much I actually paid for the entire box. And, but I remember it's not cheap. From the color's perspective, it's actually quite nice. Okay, let's try the black one. One thing I have to say, because this head is so slim, although it looks very pretty and sleek, but when you actually apply it for the edges works very well, but when you want to get the color on the entire lip, it, it, it takes some time. It takes some time. I think this color looks nicer from the camera. Not as a surprise as I look from the mirror. For me, it's okay color. It's not a you know, bad or ugly color. I think it still goes well on me. But personally, I wouldn't 
Yeah, personally, I wouldn't really go for this color. And I have to say, the swatches and what is showing on my lip, I would say from the swatches, they are slightly more burgundy color in there. When it's applied on the lip, it's slightly more redness actually showing. Hmm, not bad. I have to say overall, this lipstick is actually quite nice. I know the hourglass one, you know, like the high heel, that one was very popular back then. Was that matte as well? I think so. Uh, if you guys like those colors in there, uh, certainly worth to check out this brand. I think the colors pigmentations perspective, it's actually not bad at all. The other two colors, I will try to post some pictures on my Instagram. And then we got this three to open. Today is very cloudy out there. I think it's going to be a heavy rain coming as the natural daylight is moving away from me very quickly. So I need to um, wrap up this as fast as I can. This is from the brand, I think I mentioned before, Dancing Up, Wudong Qi Ji. Again, this was seen a very much hyper in uh, TikTok, China. Can't avoid not seeing it. So as I'm a you know, beauty makeup YouTuber, then why not? Let's try them on. Well, I may not be able to try the full on today as I have some makeup on, but We'll definitely use it in the future videos. I uh, There are three colors. Again, I got in a set um, a, a black, dark brown, and this is the champagne highlighter. I'm more interested in the champagne highlighter, actually. Oh. I just broke it. Look. The top just gone. It seems very, very soft. Softer than I expected. <laughs> this two, I think, are quite nice when you do the swatches on hand, but when it's eyeliner, you will always have to try out on your own eyelid because everyone's are different. Um, this one seems quite nice. Uh, the idea for this one is to highlight the inner corner as well as highlighting the fake eye bags. As you guys know, recently China has very much in the trend of creating fake eye bags to very much enlarge visually of your eye shape. So I think today I already done it, but let's see if I can add a little bit more. So you see today I already added a little bit. So what do I do? Let me grab a small brush to start with this dark brown color. And just emphasize a little bit. It may look very, very weird, but hey. When you're light handed, it's not too bad. Okay, that's about it. You know, for the fake eye bag stuff, you don't supposed to make it too fake. And as I have a glitters there, but let's just add a little bit more. Oh, you certainly brighten up straight away. Oh, you just certainly very bright. Oh dear. Yeah, this is a little bit too much. So when you guys do it yourself, we try not to be doing this much. Then what we do, I see it's too much. We use the cotton butt and just to gently smudge it. Okay, I think I need to use it a little bit more and I'll let you guys know I will have more videos of 
sharing my makeup with you guys, then I use them. That's all about today's video. <laughs> Do you like this random unboxing video? Do you find this is a kind of um, too simple? Do you still prefer like unboxing and try on? And do a like a get ready with me, like using the product right away. Or you guys okay with this type of unboxing video? And do let me know. All the love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you on my next one.